What's up, everybody? What's up? Today, we're at iFly, and we're gonna learn how to indoor skydive fly. I haven't indoor skydived before, but I guess if I had to guess, it's when you're skydiving, but indoors. So there's probably gonna be a blast of wind that pushes you up to simulate the feeling of falling out of a plane, and you're like, whoa! I've never been skydiving at all. I want to do it, I want to try it. But me, I'm a cheap motherfucker. So, if it costs a lot of money, I'm just like, I don't know, man. And I've never been dumb enough to pay for skydiving either. The normal intelligent person, they usually pay a hefty price to make sure they get on a plane and they get to the other place safely. So if that's what the norm is, why would you pay money to jump out of the plane? I'm dumb for doing this, but I'm not that dumb like some people I know who are willing to pay. <laughs> like the guy behind the camera and his girlfriend. Casey and Tiff in Hawaii, they also went skydiving. I'm like, oh, that looks really fun. But nah, not yet. That feeling of weightlessness, I really don't like. I'm really scared of that. I'm scared of like being free falling. And when I'm not in control, I'm also very, very scared. I think I have a normal level of being afraid of heights. I think everyone does. Oh God, if I was at the very top, and if there was a malfunction, I think the first thing that I would do is try to launch my body against the glass and, and slap onto the glass and slide down like Spider-Man, like Wee! See, I'm all about safety. So I'm always thinking about precautions and making sure that I'm not jeopardizing the company of JK. Are you ready for this? Do you guys uh, use those acrobatic moves when you go skydiving? Absolutely. Oh, you can apply everything you learn here in the sky. In fact, it's harder to fly in the tunnel than it is to fly at jump out. Oh, really? You get a lot more control staying away from the wall. Yeah. Oh, this is da more dangerous than skydiving, Mark. What are you going to do? Oh, uh, that side flaps. Today we're going to be doing some flying and we're going to start on some neutral and stable belly flying. My very first skydive, uh, I was definitely afraid of heights and I made myself go because I just wanted to get it done and out of the way and uh, essentially the thing that helped me was the plane that was taking us up was very old and rickety and I just didn't feel safe in the plane anymore so I just wanted to get out and uh, it ended up being a lot of fun, I enjoyed it and uh, became a passion. Skydiving levels, you start off as a white belt, you don't know shit, yellow belt, blue belt, Green belt, purple belt, orange belt, and then your red belt. There's no black belt because this is uh, the martial arts of flying. Flying felt like an elevator without an elevator going up, down, side to side, but at the same time, constant wind being blown at you. So it feels like there's a big fucking fan underneath. This is probably what's happening. And it's blowing us up. I felt like I was on a trampoline and that feeling where it just goes higher and higher like that. But then every time we kept dropping down, I felt like my stomach go up. like. Like on an elevator, when you're going really fast down from like the 88th floor or something, it was like zero gravity. I didn't feel any weight on my body. I was just, and it was pretty scary because I just like, fuck it. I just loosened up and I was like, I lost control. And that was pretty crazy. Since most of the stuff is around like shoulder or eye level, that stuff was doable. But when James would bring me up high, then I'd be like, oh, shit! And he'd bring me back down, I'd be like, oh, thank God. And I'd go, oh, So every time I got really, really high, or even when like we're practicing the moves of how to elevate ourselves, I would get kind of scared. I'd be like, oh, I, 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 I gotta go back down, I gotta go back down. So the fear of high element does kick in, but it's a lot more control, and it doesn't feel as crazy as I would imagine if you actually did jump out of a plane. Walking out the door was definitely a challenge. I felt like they were just playing a big joke on us because I was like, man, are they
are they fucking with me right now? <laughs> and I felt like a baby learning how to walk for the first time. My, my fucking leg was all like wiggling like this. Ugh. Yeah, it was definitely the one of the hardest things is walking out. It's actually really difficult to move around when there's such a huge gust of wind. Because if you if you were to imagine, your body is like a kite in that circumstance. So anything you lend your body to catch air to, it's gonna push you that way. Any mistake that you make, it'll like whoa, like it'll just pull you over. So that's how it feels like to fly. So that was my very first flying experience and I safely made it back in one piece. I didn't fall out of a plane magically somehow even though I'm in a tunnel the whole time. Thank you for watching. If you're ever in Hollywood, make sure you go check out iFly right next to Universal Studios. It was really, really fun. If you wanna go on a date and you wanna uh, find an easy legal way to blow her clothes off, this is the place to go. Every single Sunday, we're always uploading a new video, so make sure you go check that out, teaching good things in a bad way. Peace.